Hi, welcome to Get a Clue Casual Gamer, where we get a clue, C-L-U-E, about a game. And today we're looking at Guillotine. Let me close this box for you. There we go. Guillotine. C, C for components, L for length, U for uniqueness, E for ease. C for components. What am I going to find when I open this box? Well, first of all, you can tell it's a small box. Not big at all. And inside of it, half of the box is taken up by this guillotine. It's just a cardboard standee that I actually don't stand up because I don't want to fold and unfold and fold and unfold and um, end up with broken flaps. So I just lay it down at the end of the row because that's all it is. It's a placeholder to show where the front of the line is for those who are going to be guillotined. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of a morbid thought. French Revolution. Okay. So we have the guillotine, which takes up half of the box. And then we have 50 nobles cards. And these are all the people that might show up to be, oops, upside down some, to be guillotined, to lose, to lose their heads, 50 of them. And then there are 60 action cards, which you will have and you'll be able to use to, um, change up the line. Let me get this. I think it's there we go, half and half. Okay, so for instance, you can play this card in front of you. It's worth one point for each green noble in your score pile. But then you have move a noble forward exactly two places in line. Uh, randomly rearrange the first five nobles in line. So these are actions that you can use during the game, okay, to try and get the highest point. Um, let me see here. Okay, yeah, it happened here too. It's like halfway through. Okay, there we go. Some are worth two points, one point. Uh, let's see, a lot of minus three points. Oops, we got the wrong guy. Four points. And of course, you know, Marie Antoinette, she's going to be worth five points. Uh, Louis the 15th, 16th, sorry, five points. So yes, you, there are some high point and some negative point people that you're trying to avoid the negative and get to the positives. Because whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins the game. And so those and the instructions are all that's inside the box. Those are the components. L for length of play. Manufacturers suggest 30 minutes. And I would say that's pretty close to on, on time. Learning it and teaching it, we probably, with three players, we probably took about 45 minutes. But that's because all three of us were technically playing it for the first time that this past Thursday uh, when I finally got it to the table. It, it, yeah, yeah, pick up. I, I think you could actually pretend it's only in the, the paperwork that says that you are a guillotine uh, and a, a beheader and you're trying to get all the good heads <laughs> to get credit for killing the, you know, chopping off the good heads. But you can actually kind of, you know, if you want to make it a little bit less morbid, you could always pretend you're the Scarlet Pimpernel and you're there to rescue the highest ones. And so you're trying to find the highest nobles to rescue them, to take them away and save them from the guillotine however you want to do it but you know you can it's just pasted on there you're wanting the highest numbers you don't want the negative numbers that's the game it's okay we'll, we'll save that for e to continue 
So length of play, 30, 45 minutes with the first time when you're learning it and kind of really looking at your cards over and over going, which action do I want out of the actions in my hand? Which one will get me the most points? Mm, don't know which one. So yeah, so let's say 30, 45 minutes. Um, uniqueness, it's a card game and it's basically just the cards. I mean, the only thing that's not a card is the guillotine. And that's just to show the front of the line. Who's the closest? Wh whoever's right next to it is the card that you have to take at the end of your turn. So that's why you want to make sure that it's not a negative and try and get a higher number positive there so that you can take that one at the, you know before it's somebody else's turn. Um, but it's basically cards, the nobles, and the actions. That's it. Um, it does, the, the idea of lining them up does remind me of another hobby card game called Parade because you line them up and, and you're constantly adding. In that case, you're adding to the lineup and then having to take some, depending on what you laid down. Um, and that's, but it, it's that long line of cards that made me think of it. Um, and when it comes to mass market games, I don't, none comes to mind. If you know of one, put it, you know, in the comments below, because I was, I've been racking my brain and, 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 and my brain isn't working that great ever since I had COVID a couple months ago. Um, I do have a lot of brain fog, but, um, but I have not been able to come up with a, a mass market card game where you would have this big long line. Another uh, hobby card game, Illusion, uses a long line of cards. Um, games like, um, not Chrononauts, um, but uh, Timeline. Timeline, you're putting things in date order in a long line. So there are a lot of hobby games that use that concept of a long line of cards as part of the game. But mass market wise, I'm not sure if I know of any. So if you're kind of in the hobby or been in the hobby or I, I know that I've done uh, a video. In fact, it was number 11. I looked it up. Number 11 is my video about the card game parade. Um, I'm not sure if I did. I didn't check to see if I've done one on illusion. I know I've mentioned Illusion on some of my lists, maybe the top 10 card games or something like that. Top 20, top 10, I think I did a top 10 card game. Uh, or Spice Your, you know, Spice Your, <laughs> so yeah, Spice Up Your Gaming with some card games. I, yeah, I think it, I mentioned it in that one. Anyway, um, so that's uniqueness. Ease. Uh, ease. Yeah, I found it in two places online. Um, it has been around since 1998. Yes, it is a 24-year-old game. So it's not a newbie on the market, but it, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, publishers, I think the original publishers were Wizards of the Coast, Wizards, um, but it's, I guess Hasbro has bought them because Hasbro is also listed as a publisher of it. So I think that's why it's easier to find. I found it at, on Amazon and I found it at one of my online uh, game stores, gamenerds.com. And um, if the channel, if you look at the description, arrow, pull up the description of this channel, I have listed the main websites that I check at, you know, for game purchasing and stuff so that you can just follow the links. And I, they are not um, linked to me in any way. I make no money. I am not this, I am not a content creator making money off of this. I'm just doing it for the fun of it because <laughs> I like this. I look, 
I love games and I want people to know about them and enjoy them as well. Um, okay, so Amazon is selling it for $11.99, $12. And Game Nerds is selling it for $10.47 or $10.50. Plus, usually you'll have to pay shipping with Game Nerds. Um, it is probably found in your local game store, your friendly local game store or Flags. Uh, because it has been around and it keeps on ticking, you know, kind of like Timex. Uh, <laughs> it's been around for a while and it just keeps on keeping on. And uh, it's a cute game. It's a fun game. It's an easy game. Uh, I, I really, it, if you can get past the concept of being the guillotine operator, um, yeah. It, it, like they say, it's an irreverent and humorous card game t that takes place during the French Revolution. Players represent vi vi mm, rival guillotine operators vying for the best collection of noble heads over three rounds. Um, but like I said, you can always pretend to be the Scarlet Pimpernel trying to save the uh, nobles from the guillotine. Either way, it's still the same game. It's still fun and silly. And so there you have it. That is getting a clue about guillotine. I hope this gave you an idea. And um, I'll see you next time. God bless you and your family. Happy gaming. Until next. Bye.